sweet and spicy paleo sticky chicken finger. Can you say that? I probably can't. <laughs> it is on my healthy Pinterest board, and I've actually had this on there for a while. I have made this so many times um, for our family. A lot of times if I take a meal to someone, um, I, I bring this because it's healthy um, and kids usually like it. So there's a, there's a little bit of a, a spice to it and that comes, we'll, we'll show you where that comes in. That comes in um, on the glaze, but you can always leave a couple without the glaze if you're, you know, you've got someone you're making it for or yourself that d doesn't care for spice, but it's not too spicy. It is just really delicious, healthy, quick and easy, and um, just a recipe that I love to make for others. So we want to show you guys how to make that. I'm so excited. Jill loves to handle raw chicken, and so I'm going to have her do that portion of it. Okay. Um, we're going to start, though, by um, we've got a cup and a half here of our almond flour. Okay, so I just get this like it seems. And we're just going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper to that, okay? And that's really all that the breading is going to be. And then Jill's cracking a couple of eggs. And then if you just want to put a little splash of water in that and whisk those. Um, a little paper towel. Yeah, I got your little paper towel to clean everything. Um, we'll be already there. And then I'll just kind of, and this is, that's really all we're going to do. We're just going to dip it in the egg, um, egg mixture. And then we're going to dip it here in the, do you want to do it in here without that? I was going to say, I think this needs to yeah, be, be easier. So we've already got our sheet pan with our parchment paper on it, okay? And then we've got a pound of chicken that we just sliced into fingers, okay? So that we've got six different fingers here. And what we're going to do is dip each one of these into the egg mixture and then into our almond meal and um, put it on the pan. Okay, so I'll let you do that. So this recipe actually, and we're going to be putting the recipe, um, you know, in the notes below, so be sure to subscribe to us um, on YouTube and we'll have the notes there below. So if you're just gonna dip it in there and then into, into your almond meal. Okay, I'm just gonna put a couple in here. Yep. I'm gonna check what's in our oven here. Oh, we've got five more minutes. We got a lot of stuff cooking right now. A lot of stuff cooking. Just bring up some things. Okay. So okay. Here. And you may not even use all of that, but I like to have lots of, of the breading. So make sure you coat it really well. All right, so you've just got your pound of chicken. We're just putting it in the egg wash, and then we're putting it in the almond meal with salt and pepper. Do we have to put anything on the pan? No, nope. no, nope. just got our parchment paper. We're all good. Is that good? Yep, perfect. All right. And what the recipe suggests you do is after you have your chicken ready that you actually put it in the fridge for about 30 to 60 minutes. And the reason it suggests you do that is it helps the um, breading to bind to it a little bit better. And I have done it both ways and I will say that it does help. So we will be actually putting this in the fridge for about 45 minutes or so just to make sure that breading sticks really good. And then you're going to bake it at, to, let's see, 425 for about 25 minutes. Okay, so while you're doing that, I think I'm going to start the sauce. Okay, let me, so I'll move you over a little bit. Over. So while she's finishing that, and while our um, chicken is in the oven, you're going to make a sauce. And so the sauce is super simple, and this is what makes it sweet and spicy. All right, so first of all, I've got a half a cup of my honey here. All right, so I'm going to put that in the pan. I'll turn that on in one second. I just want to get something in there. Okay. I've got my honey there. Get this rolling. That catch your arm hairs on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, and then we've got a third cup of our Frank's Red Hot. It just says a, you know, Frank's or, you know, whatever hot sauce you like, which is a third cup of that. We're going to put. I love buffalo chicken. I know. Um, I am just. Anything buffalo. Oh I my gosh, so does Nate. He really, loves it. I don't eat a lot of meat. Yeah. Um, so I'll even do I like take cauliflower this top off. Oh yeah, like a yeah. buffalo cauliflower. Yeah. That sounds good. Just, you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that I'm a huge fan of it. I've grown. Nate has me make buffalo chicken dip all the time. He loves it. But this. I do like this because the honey kind of cuts it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then the only other thing we need is a half teaspoon of garlic power. All right, so I'm going to put that in our sauce as well. Um, and I guess if you, you know, weren't watching, I guess, the whole gluten intake or if you weren't on a paleo diet, you could just bread these 
with regular sure. flour if you want to. Although right? I, I will tell you, that's why I keep making them. I love this almond meal flour. I get that at Sam's and I just love it. I think it's so good. And so really now I'm just kind of stirring this around and breaking, making sure my garlic powder gets nice and mixed and you're just bringing this to a boil. And then once this is to a boil, I'm just gonna let it sit and wait um, until our chicken's done. And we'll just be dipping it in, you know, our chicken in here and then broiling it just to give it a nice caramelized, um, you know, I guess coating. But it's, that's, that's literally all we have to do. We're all done. So we are going to put that in the fridge, let it sit for a bit and we'll be back with you shortly. So I think it smells really good in here. I know. I think the chicken's done. I think the chicken's done. So let's, let's put in there 25 minutes. Let's see. At 425. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Does that not look delish? It looks so good. So let me turn it on broil. Look how they brown up. I didn't think they would brown up like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love it. So here, now we've got our mixture of our um, hot sauce, our honey, um, and our garlic powder. That's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna drizzle, drizzle that on there. Now it says in the recipe to dip it. That's your choice. I have done that before and it's it's just really, I, I don't like as much like moisture to it. So, I mean, it's totally up to you. You could dip it in there and it's gonna have a lot more of the spicy sweet on it. Which I think I would like. You think I, you would like that? I well, let me get one nice and doused for yeah, you then. Douse it, baby. Cause uh, I think you're gonna be fine with my way. I just like to drizzle. It's all about the drizzle. We don't need to have the excess. Well, some, yeah. Some I don't really do. need it, I just. Okay. So there we go. So now we've got our um, chicken with its sauce. So I'm gonna just put it on broil for about two minutes. And be careful here because you don't want to burn them at this point. So, no. so you, you, need to, you need to really watch. In general, when I agree, whenever, I mean, I know my oven, I guess you know your oven, but when it says broil, I always do about half the time it tells me and check it because you can always go more, but you can't go less once you, once you burn something. And I've done that. It's hey, gone. your hair. Uh, your hair looks good. Did you get color? I just noticed while we're sitting here waiting. <laughs> well, you so lean random. down in the light. And That's I'm a like, random question, it actually. Looks, it looks, I like the I, color. I did not get it colored. You didn't. Um, I just hid my grays today. How'd you hide your grays? Well, I was on YouTube last night for, I don't know, about an hour. And this gal used eyeshadow to dab on her grays to cover them in between. Cause I just get a little right there. That's, I get it right. Yeah. That's awesome. So nice. Great idea. I know you can buy like the powder that, but if you've got a bunch of eyeshadow, I, have a ton of eyeshadow. I mean, I think that's what that kind of is. It's similar to it's, that it's, and that you do it each it's day. It's probably exactly what it is. It's just marketed different. Right. What a good idea. I know. Well, it looks, it looks lovely. Thank you. Okay. So I just heard a little beat. Let me just check to see how we're doing. Okay. Yep, we're about there. All right. Looky here. Let me turn oh that off. Oh my goodness. We have got some gorgeous chicken. Doesn't that look amazing? It looks delicious. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just so flavorful. And I, you know what I did? I put it on a spinach salad. Oh, you're going to have some? Well, I want to try one. Well, all right. It could be kind of hot. So, so, so here, I'll, I'll do it on it right here. I'll get this one. This little guy. Um, it is really good on a salad. Ooh. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I served it with, you know, just a side dish or whatever, but I made a spinach salad once. And so I put that on it the next day. I had some leftover and I didn't even heat it up. And it was so good. Oh, this is smoking hot. Is it? I'm a little scared. Oh, I can handle hot stuff. Let me try this. Good. See if I put enough seasoning. Isn't that good? Mm. Pretty yummy. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's it's temperature hot, but it's not too hot. I mean, no, and I would probably do a little bit more. Or just have a side of that and just dunk it as you go. Yeah, well, you can make that in the recipe. I love hot sauce. So give it a try, it's pretty yummy. Make sure you um, subscribe below 
so that you can uh, keep up with us and on our healthy recipe journey here. Uh, we'll, that's it. We'll put the recipe below. Yep. All right. Take See care, you folks.